Try and kill it. Oh, spine breaker. Oh my god, he's out of there. He is out of there. Home run, baby. Home run. Hello and welcome back to play Circus Electric Part 3, I'm your host, Mefe. So last time we are slowly making our way to the boss, which we'll hopefully do in this episode. Before we do that, we need to go train at the train. No pun intended. So, nothing's level 2 here. It should be level 2, but I'm going to refresh it and see. Oh, here we go. We've got Igor. Oh, what about you, Kal Kalandi? Kalanda? I don't really like Mesmerize so much. Oh, that's been sure because I can't really use them when I'm in the back row. And you, Igor. You've got Boomerang. Um, you look fairly average, I guess. Wait, boomerang and weight throw means I can only use them up from the back as well. Ugh, how annoying. Phoebe. Pretty sure that can only be used at the front. I kind of want you at the back again. And so can chain hit and annoy. Very annoying indeed. When Tanya turns ends, heals uh, a random team member. That's pretty cool. Annoy, recharge. Throw, chain grab, handcuffs. This one's not bad. Yeah. Mainly because of that heal. Doesn't say how much it heals for, but it's not bad. The annoy thing's kind of annoying, just because I'm never going to be in the front. I don't really want her to be taunting either. The rest of it's pretty cool, though. Definitely, I can definitely use the handcuffs. Definitely use a chain grab. Um, Lock throw, obviously. And this as well. Does she have anything else I'm missing out on? You know what? Fuck it, I'm recruiting her. Bam! You're part of a t oh, I didn't look at these stats. Shit. Let's have a look over here. What was I missing on her then? You look like you've got the same stuff apart from chain wall. Yeah. Digging it. Shall I refresh again? Just in case I can get some better stuff. This one's got a really cool uh, five star thing here. Um. Yeah, okay. I'm going to refresh one more time. One more time. Oh, 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 Winnie. That's a winning name. I like it. I might hire you because of your name. That's fucking cool. Fire blow, fire wall, fire whip, fire ring, fire shield, fire fire. Um, I mean, she hasn't got bad abilities. You know, you might be winning. Let's have a look at everyone else quickly. What the hell? Al Alyosha? Al 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 Yosha? Fuck. I might not even hire him just based on his name alone. And he's also got Boomerang Weight Throw. Thank fuck for that. And we've got uh, Shaniqua or Shakuinana. I am butchering these names. <laughs> More so than usual. Oh, okay, she's got bad abilities. What a shame. I really wanted her because like, I love pronouncing her name. I might take Winnie. Yeah, Winnie seems like a strong choice. Should I take you, Winnie? Two negatives, but two pluses. And blue. Blue. I mean, yeah, why not? Fuck it. If I don't like him, I guess I can just get rid of them. You know? Okay, so Yvonne, get out of there. We don't need you in there anymore. We'll put in... Grok, you are dying. Go in there, my friend. Heal up, you silly clown. I almost said crown then. Clown? Okay, what is this? I thought I had a tutorial for this. Number of boosters shows how many tools you can use to improve audience satisfaction, yeah. Performers, overall fun, amazement, thrill, and laugh values must meet or exceed these numbers in order to launch the show, yeah. Gifts show what useful crafting components you may receive after the show. Okay, so each show has different gifts they can give me, yeah. I'm gonna go for this one anyway, because it's House of Horror, that's pretty cool. Horrific. Every show has expectations from the audience that must be met in order for the performance to be launched. If performers, fun, amazement, thrill, and laugh values add up to meet or exceed expectations, the show can proceed. Most drafts have slots that grant certain classes and multiply on the fun, amazement, thrill, and laugh values. Assign a clown or strong man to the slot to double his stats. I got you. I got you. Right, so I need to put four in here. I also need to put either clown or strong man in there. Um, I reckon I should probably put two... You in one? There you go. Bam! Oh, the show must go on. The show must go on. And then I can put... Uh, um, 
Every one of these new ones. Will he? Get in there. And I need a pink. Maria or Bertha? I think Maria is slightly worse than Bertha, so I put Maria in there. Maria. And then we need another pink as well. Fuck. Um, oh, I guess I'm going to lose Bertha as well. That's all my fire throwers. That's not cool. Wait, why are you guys not friends? What does that say? Let me take you away for a second, put you in there. Ha <laughs> ha! Does that help? I think that's, uh, I guess it's the fire throwers. He doesn't like fire throwers. I mean, he likes them, but this guy doesn't. Let's have a look what the difference was. It's a star difference. Yep, that makes all the difference, guys. Yep. You go in there. I have no idea what my party's going to look like when I eventually venture out of the city, but at least my performances are doing well. <laughs> that's what matters. It doesn't matter if I die. It's all about my performance. The show must go on. Sometimes you may wish to allocate more stars to a category than you previously obtained from chemistry and devotion. What? Yeah, sure, why not? Use boosters to increase the available stars for different categories, earning you a bigger reward at the end of the day. Oh, okay, right, cool. Boosters, huh? Reminds me of like a microtransaction game. Even though it's not, but you know. Adds one entertainment star. I see. It's all becoming clear. I kind of want to... What does this do again? That's uh, money. Money, money, money. And this is XP again. Can I go two in there? I can go all in on whatever the fuck this is. What is this again? Ooh. Intriguing. So if I put booster down. I can I put one at a time? Oh, okay, there's slots here. So I guess I can't use the same one twice. Makes sense. So that'll help me level up my um, my place a bit quicker, my fame. And I can get more XP if I want to. Or what is this again? That's XP as well. Oh, that's money, yeah, that's money. <laughs> and items, money and items. Um, yeah, fuck the XP for now. I'll do this. I announce! Okay, so the event will take place after the next battle. Amazing tricks and new stars only today. Yep, my show. My show. What's wrong with these guys? Why are they uh, flashing for me? What's up? What's up, guys? I can upgrade them? I can upgrade them. Unable to attack chance 4%. Requires character level 3 for that. Fuck off. It's well high. Devotion decrease increased by 3%. If I want to upgrade that one. Makes it six, I guess. These don't increase damage, but they're more utility anyway. What about Winnie? Winnie the Pooh. Let's see. Increases damage slightly. I'm probably never gonna use that. It's purging buff being increasing my devotion by two. It's all a load of shit, really, isn't it? Fucking hell. A load of rubbish. So I guess I can buff up um Martha and buff her this up. 100% chance to move target and herself forward by one slot. That doesn't seem cool to buff anyway. You know? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to hold back and be like, nah, I'm okay. I'm good. Thank you, though. Thanks for offering. It's very kind of you to offer. So, where are we going now? Going to a clash straight away. Oh, I need to put people in. That'll probably help. And that's my lion can solo them, which I'm pretty sure you could. Caesar's in there, it's a Balthasar. So we'll put in Tanja. And then we have no fire throwers. This is awkward. Pablo, you're there. Um Who's got the best back ability here? Uh You got Lock Throw. Chain grab. So it'll probably be Martha, unless, unless Yvonne has something better. You pretty much have the same stuff, I'm pretty sure. Lock, throw, chain grab, and you got lock, throw, chain grab, and recharge. Wait, do you have recharge? No, you got, but you got release. Release is better than recharge. Because release releases people from stuns. And you've also got a five star thingy. 
but it helps you out in places and stuff. Oh, you have no negatives as well. You like clowns. Yvonne, you are the chosen one. Oh, yeah, she's in there already. Cool. So, yeah, we'll keep it like that, I guess. And then we'll go on to the clash. Oh, we're going up. To Uncle Randy, I meant. <laughs> Don't know where the hell I was looking. How are my second-rate performers handling things out there lately? Pretty shitty. Swimmingly. I thank you for sending them with me. It seems every step closer to the bridge offers a new obstacle. Indeed. Yet things have calmed down around the circus. Curious. Yes. How is it that a site full of freaks is the safest, maybe even the sanest, place in town? <laughs> and the maddening began mere moments after lighting the pillar of power. Pure coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Indeed. Um, yes. Surely you don't suspect I have some hand in this chaos. No. That would involve actually thinking about you, Uncle. Oh my God! I actively try not to do. Oh, it's, it's over. It's over. Oh Christ! Brutality, brutality. What the fuck? So I just went there for law. I thought it was gonna be some sort of present. You know, a present for me. The hell? Okay, another fight. Oh, this guy's new. What's this? A park keeper. So we've got Bobby again, Mime, and Bobby. Park Keeper, what do you do? Oh my god, I'm attacking. How did that even happen? Did I have something selected? I don't think I did. I'm just, I'm just trying to view this guy. Give me a sec, guys. Drone Strike. Scanning. Debuff. Reduces all enemies' precision by 15%. That's actually really annoying. Devotion Attack and something locked here as well. Call for help. Why is it locked? Calls another park keeper to aid. Yeah, fuck that. Littering ticket. Uh, this guy needs to die. He needs to die. So I'm now Pablo, the clown. It's cool how they all look slightly different, actually. They actually look like they're avatars, which I wasn't expecting, because this clown looks really different from my last clown. That's why I was like, who the hell is this when I looked at it? So hammer hit, mock throw. Um, mock throw is actually okay. It does fairly good, good damage. Good, good, good damage. Uh, mock throw onto this then. There we go. Bonk. Almost killed it already. What does the mark do? Why am I depressed? Ow! Does that mean everyone's going to attack me? It means everyone's going to attack me. Let's have a look. Um, devotion reduced by 10%. Uh, suffered damage is boosted by 20%. Yeah, okay. So, what can we do here? Stun? Whose turn is it next? The mime. Uh, yeah, I'll try and stun it. Stun Fuck, he resisted it. Bastard! I'm now the strong man. Hmm. Front blow. Yeah. Bam! Oh, I've only a critted. Okay, this clown is getting absolutely wrecked. I need like a taunt. That's maybe why everyone has taunts built in, I reckon. Yeah, it's getting absolutely destroyed. Um, what can I do here? What can I do? You're still marked. Maybe it run out on this turn though. What's your turn come up next? I don't really want to move you just yet, just in case. I'm going to try and stun something again. I'm going to try and stun you. Fuck's sake. Yes, yeah, the healing power of laughter. Indeed. Hammer hit. I'm still marked. Surely that should be gone. Surely. Mock throw, ball throw, hammer hit. Uh, yep. Ah! You like that, don't you? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Okay, try to mark me, but failed completely. So now I'm depressed, though. Okay, lock throw or release or chain grab. I think we're going for a another lock throw. Come on! Thank fuck for that. Strong man's up. Slam dog. Yeah, boy. Turn three. Okay, so 
Can't stand on the front. Um, damage isn't very good on this character at all. It's actually pretty shit, the damage. Really shit. I must go for the AoE. Okay. Clown time. Time to clown around. Let's do a hammer here, I think. Onto yourself. Ooh, another, was that another stun? Oh, no, it was very really stunned. No. Taunting. Okay. Go smack. Then a big smack, I guess. Yeah. Turn four. Then we can release all. What's your devotion levels like? You're pretty much dead anyway. Double attack. Want some more healing. This hammer won't be enough to kill you. That's kind of annoying. Boom! Dizzy though. Ow. Dodge reduced. What are you doing? Any movement of enemies are cancelled and retaliated. Okay, that's right. I'm not going to move anyway. Um, lock throw onto yourself. These guys are so tanky. Die, motherfucker, die! Here we go. Okay. Devotion. Maybe we should go for that at the start. Destroying the devotion. Um, I can heal something here as well. Decreases my devotion a tiny bit. Probably should though. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. I knew that. Don't know why it's gone, but it's gone. We did it, guys. That's actually quite a difficult. Well, it wasn't difficult, but they're really tanky now. Really strong. Aha! Next. Next again. Artisan is unlocked. Circus expansion. Uh? What does it mean? Artisan? Artisan! I do hope you're feeling crafty. Oh, I am. The Artisan crafts useful items from components found as you progress. Items can be used in battles, circus performances, or even while exploring the city. Okay. So, Cola, hold the craft button to create an item. Increase devotion by 10%. I will create Cola. Oh, I can even upgrade the building now. What can I do it the whole time? I upgrade it. Well, I can now make bandages. Um, kind of. What's track do? Does it keep an eye on the materials that come across? I'm guessing so. And cola increased devotion. Cola! Uh, um, did I make some? Cola! What the fuck is going on? Cola! Cola! Oh, I need to hold down the button. I got this, guys. It's not my first game, I swear. Cola! You're right. I've got cola now. What are you missing? Oh, one of those. I can make explosive bottle. Deals 36 damage, a 30% chance to deal 36 damage to the user. <laughs> That's actually pretty lethal. Jesus. And this adds an entertainment star, adds a complexity star. Um, do I need any of this crap? Ah, oh, it actually tells you what else it can turn into. This, this is very clever of them. Now I know if I need it or not. Oh, but what about my stasis grenades? I'll craft one. Oh. And uh, that's special, apparently. So. I guess I'll make one more cola. You can never have enough cola, you know? It's good for you. It's really good for you, that stuff. High on sugar. Just what you need. Train again. Are these the same ones? I think they're different this time. Who the hell are you? Fire door? You're five star. You've got two negatives here, though. But, yeah, you suck. And you, have I looked at you before? That's what I have. Very familiar. Yeah, I think only one of them is new. Damn. Um, 
Let's go back to the circus tents. Oh, maybe I should put someone else in here as well, actually, now I think about it. Grok, you're free. Um, Maria? Maria? Put Maria in there. Yeah. And then we'll do another a horror show? Oh no, let's go back to road show. Because the novelty's uh, back again. The novelty. Um, put you in there. And also Pablo. And then Maria's recovering. Why are we always missing like fire breathers, what are they called? I can put Bertha in there and take Winnie instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Christ. The things like oh he doesn't like fire people. Why do you like fire people, man? Yvonne, you get in there. There we go. Yeah. Sorted. Okay, let's boost this up. That gives me money. That's it. That's a bit shit. No, I don't. Embark. Okay, your available consumables can be found here. Select the ones your exploration team should take along. Up to six consumables can be selected for four battles. What happens if I... Okay, I'll take, I'll take them. Okay. What happens if I don't use them? Do I get them back? Take a cola and a bandage with you into battle. I am. I am, okay. Stop shouting at me. Um, Caesar. Grok. I'm going to take Bertha again, I think. Oh, unless Winnie's better. Are you better, Bertha? I mean, Winnie. Bertha, Winnie. Uh, you guys are almost exactly the same. Apart from... You got this, a fire throw. And Winnie has... What do you have, Winnie? Fire whip? Oh, you got fire whip as well. Uh, I'm trying to work it out. They're definitely... Is it this, spinning shield? You don't have spinning shield, do you? But you got everything else. So yeah, Bertha's better, even though Winnie's higher level. But I feel you're coming with me. Oh yeah, and Tundra or Martha. I think Tundra was better, wasn't it? And Martha's shit. Is Martha shit? Uh, charge, annoy. Yeah, I think you're slightly better. Just because your ability is better. Martha's a bit crap. A bit shitty. Okay, we're good to go. Let's do this team. Ooh, loot. Give me some food. I'm running out. Come on. Oh my god. What is this? Don't want that shit. Another fight. To battle. Here we go. Here we go. Consumables brought into battle can be found in the items menu. Select items. Sure. Use cola to increase the devotion of a team member. Use a bandage to heal an injured character. Characters can also choose to use an item in a turn besides using their skills. There's not just caffeine in that American drink you can make, is there? Besides executing a skill, performers can also use a consumable from the items tab for their turn. Some consumables help teammates while others attack or trap enemies. Cool. I got it. I got it. So. Park keepers. You've been unlocked as well, so I can call for help now. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. I want them to do that. And you can also do that as well. So they need to die first. You, do you have any more abilities now? You decrease devotion, which is annoying. Apart from that, you don't seem to be too bad from what I can see. Okay, so I am Bertha, big Bertha. Let's start going for, oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. All right, we're going for that. <laughs> I was checking out devotion levels. Oh, damage. Okay, they're, they're both the devotion's really high. So we kind of need to target the HP instead. He hasn't had a turn yet. The mime. The mime. Reduce the devotion by 15%. The mime. God damn it. Stun never works. Okay, so what I'll do is, because they're all going for me, 
I'm going to go for a Don't You Dare. So they hit me, they're going to get fucked in the A. So I'm now the strong man, Caesar. I'm going for Slam Dunk on this! Did I miss? No, I hit it. Okay, cool. Uh, what? I'm supposed to attack back, aren't I? What the? Huh? Did I not read that properly? I thought every time I got attacked, then I I did stuff, but I, I guess not. I must have read that wrong. I must have read it wrong. I don't take any fire damage from that, but I can move the uh, debuff. Hum. I'm going for fire ring. Yeah. Have a fire ring. Ooh, marks me up now and died. Okay, um, let's try and. Ooh. Lock throw. Onto this. Come on, let's get stunned. Okay, all right, let's have a look. Enters a stance until next turn, which are uh, retaliates on moving enemies. So they move around a lot, then it works. But otherwise it doesn't do shit. That's a really bad turn then. Very bad turn. Okay, heal up myself again. Hammer uh, hit as well. Yeah, let's try and take this down. And then you can either do a stunning attack. I think stunning attack. Really? Look how low he is. If I went for the other attack, I would have killed him. Damn. Okay, damage reduction up. This should die to the uh, fire trap, I think. Got barely any HP left. That means we need to go for the other one, the pot keep in the back. So. We do a fire throw. Yeah. Increase that devotion. It marks me off in the back as well. I'll try and stun it again. Like there we go. Okay, now you. Buff everyone up. Or. Heal again. You're not going to die, are you? I should probably finish you myself. Bonk. Okay, another one down. I'm trying to stun this girl. Resist. They're so resistant to stuns. Ooh. Okay. Why are you flashing? That's scary. Does it mean your turn's next? Is that what it means? Most likely, yeah. Devotion 26. I could go for a fire throw again. Keep going for devotion. And that should. Produce it. Oh, it's on 1% now, I think. Come on, someone's got this. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, yeah. Resist? What the fuck? Another! There we go. I tried to target the devotion, but I managed to kill him with the HP anyway. Rage. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Look how low I am. Fuck. Fuck. Um, fire wall. Fire whip. Fire wall, I think. Yeah. Why? Literally, every time I try to do something, like remove their positive effects or stun them, it never seems to work. Um, try this. These are for you. Fuck. Trying to make it so I can't attack as well. Anything else I can do? Uh, I should probably heal again, but my devotion's getting really low on this. Try to do it anyway. Nah. Have it down! And then... Stun! Impossible, bro. Impossible. 
Uh, let's do another firewall. No, I can't take that off. It's just stuck there. Permanently. Never coming off. Do a handcuff scan. Okay, devotion reduced. Let's go for another slam dunk. She's tanky. Look at this. There we go. Thank God for that. Bloody hell. She is so tanky. Okay, another win. Another day has gone by. Yep, skip all this crap. Increasing devotion. Devotion can be increased in several ways. Using certain friendly skills during battle, using cola during battle, visiting certain district nodes, using certain circus buildings, defeating multiple opponents simultaneously with one attack, forcing enemies to flee, taking part in circus shows. Okay. My devotion's getting very low on some people. I need to perform more circus shows. Arsan. Oh, I can make more bandages. I'll do it. Bam. Make any more? No. Cola. I need more cola. Uh, can I make another spotlight? No, I can't. What's the smoke? What's that do? I can't make one either. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the train again. The train. So they don't change unless I refresh them pretty much. Interesting. Interesting. So let's go to the circus tent, put some people in there again. Well, actually, go back to the sleeping cart, take you out. Let's put in you are really low. Bam. Oh, I can upgrade now, can't I? Wow, I need tons of this stuff, these tools. Whoa. Can I upgrade still? No, I'm level two, so I need to get level three if I can upgrade. Let's upgrade this one. Need tons of tools again. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do horror show again. Hurrah. Let's put in uh, Maria again. Devotion's 37 on you. 33 on Maria, yeah. So Maria, put you in. And then let's put in. Any other oranges here, apart from Yvonne? I need more orange people. Um, Yvonne it is, I guess. Oh, I need a clown in there as well. Or a strong man. But you are healing up. Christ. Christ. Um, just put Winnie in there. Put Yvonne in there. Screw it. I'll get, I don't get the double bonus, but, you know, whatever. And then... I need another purple as well. Shit. I just don't have enough. Wait, how many do I have of each? One, two, three. I've got three pink. Two orange. I've only got one green. Why have I only got one green? Got two blue, three blue. Yeah. Hmm. Hum. Um. Wait, why have you got sleeping stuff on you? Bored. Minus ten devotion per day. What? Why are you bored? Are you bored? Let's put you in there then. Make you less bored. And next, so put one of those on. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep leveling up my thing. Don't forget to buy some popcorn. Okay. Right, back outside we are once again. So, uh, let's put up you. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Let's go to a mystery event. This place, there's something happening here. Let's see what's going on. I'm surprised Go. we don't see this more often these days. A man who has lost everything, begging for food. Then again, what easier victims for the vicious? So I can literally go for these 10 shillings should last you a few days. I think I get loot for that. These 50 shillings should set you on the right path to change your world for the better. I get a fight, it looks like, fight icon. 
and then got have a cola and join us until we find something somewhere to buy you something to eat. Over ten shillings. Not bad at all. Sometimes the feelings we get from generosity is its own bountiful payment. No, it's not. Give me some loot. Uh, what did I even do? That devotion? I guess it's devotion. Right, so loot or circus enthusiasts? Um, I want to see what this does. See that goal number? We need to choose a performer whose enjoyment rating can best that sum after we spin the wheel. Then we can put all we've earned on the line to try again. Okay, so if we meet it, then we know we've played, please played. <laughs> please our audience two steps to making that happen. We choose a performer with a high enjoyment rating. Spin the Wheel of Fortune for another number. If the sum of the two is higher than the target value, we win. Then we choose to take the reward or risk it all with another spin. Uh, what enjoyment? Oh, that enjoyment number. Okay, so we put in you. And then start. Oh, I've got to stop it myself. I'm scared. I'm scared. Stop. Now. Uh, stop. Oh my god. But do we think we can do it again? I'm scared. I don't know if we can. I get 22 from that as well. Should I risk it all? So I risk it all for a chocolate biscuit? Not a claim. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, so I got 22 from that. Was that better than the loot was? I'm not even sure. Interview, I'm not going to allow the maddening to interfere with my primary assignment. Okay. Good news for you, Uncle. Your circus electric story is still happening. Ooh. Oh. Is your editor growing impatient? My editor is dead. Killed by the entertainment reviewer. Ivan did that? How terrible. And after such a good review for the premiere. Yes, please go hug him if you see him at the pub. That would end in a hell of a story, I'm sure. But for now, I need a ninja. Several, actually. My single story has morphed into an ongoing feature. You don't say. What? Oh, I gotta do it myself. How did you get your foot in the door in the circus business? In 1869, you sought P.T. Barnum in America. Tell me about working for Barnum's protege, Eddie Edwards, who now runs the world's most powerful corporation. Uh, one. How did you get your foot in the door on running a circus? You know, I know your story, but I could use some quotes so people believe how dumb you are. <laughs> <laughs> how flat. I suppose the beginning was in 1866. I was 15, living in Coventry, with no idea what to do with my life. But then he came along. P.T. Barnum. The Prince of Humbugs himself, yes. By chance, our paths crossed as Barnum explored the city. All I could think to say was a bit of history I'm sure he already knew. Lady Godiva once rode naked down this very street. <laughs> he laughed and said he could use a good tour guide. I spent the next few hours in his company. Before we parted, he said to look him up if ever I was in America. Maybe he could return the favor. Okay, so <laughs> in 1869, you sought P.T. Barnum in America. In 1869, you sought P.T. Barnum in America. I don't think Barnum ever expected me to hold him to his promise of a favor in America. But three years later, I most certainly did. I left England for the land of the free and the home of the brave. It only took about two months and all but two of my dollars to find Barnum, but I did. And he remembered me. He was so amused that I went so far to take him up on his offer. He offered me a job to help out his protege. Assistant to his assistant. <laughs> that is all I could have hoped for. I thank his kind soul to this day. Uh, how did you get your foot in the door? Tell me about working for Barnum's protege, Eli Edwards, who now runs the world's most powerful corporation. Tell me about working for Barnum's protege, Eli Edwards, who now runs the world's most powerful corporation. Oh, always something to prove with Eli Edwards. Early on, we got along very well, until Barnum started asking for my help over his. Ooh. I think Eli started feeling jealous. 
his own demon. It might be him that's doing all this stuff, the mind control shit. It helped that Barnum actually started referring to me, not Eli, as his protege, by the time of our first traveling circus performance in 71. And how do you feel about what Eli has become? Ha! I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> okay, end interview. Working for P.T. Barnum in his prime must have been exciting. And he actually preferred you to Eli Edwards as his top protege? Rather unbelievable, considering Eli essentially runs the world today, is it not? I'll let you answer your own question in a future interview. Right now, hmm. Uncle Randy, I've had about all I can stand of you. Yes, same. Me too. Harder for me to escape myself, though. <laughs> Okay, so that's a bit of lore there, but I'm guessing this uh, Eli Proche guy, I can't remember the rest of his name. I reckon he's the one that's doing all this. I reckon. Alright, another battle. Another battle. So, what we against this time? We've got Posh Woman, Mime, Mime, and Bobby. Alright, my friends. Let's do this. So, you got very low devotion. Let's see if we can send you packing. Uh, fire throw! Okay, then you... Stun never seems to work, ever. Hmm. Let's see if we can... Um... Go for the stun again, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it works. Nice. Something actually worked. I like it. Um, wonder. I wonder. Let's go for the posh woman because she rages when she's the last one left. I'm not sure they all do that, but let's see. Let's do a ground shatter to decrease the devotions again. Abstract bow? How dare you? Oh crap. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. Yeah, she's really annoying. So what I'll do is I will retreat. And then I will... Uh, moves me up by a slot. So if I do that... No! The person's really low on this now. And the clown... The clown. I move up the two slots of a taunt. There we go. Oh shit, I'm marked as well. Oh my god. That kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to destroy the devotion again. Goodbye, clown. Ooh. Shit. Turn free. Help! They're killing him. <laughs> They're killing him. Right. I can definitely take some of them down now. Ooh. I might actually start attacking someone else's devotion here. Because the foot stomp can uh, ground shatter. Or whatever it's called can finish that off, definitely. That hits all devotions as well. I'll go for a stun on something. This is really annoying, whatever she's doing. And she reflects all the... Oh, reflecting 30% of all incoming damage as well. Aha! Yeah, she's really annoying. But she's not attacking, technically. She's just defending. Uh, let's go for this instead. Okay, the clown. The clown. I think I'm gonna heal myself. I'm really low. No. Now he's taunting. Let's do the uh, ground shatter. What? Oh. I mean, it's AoE anyway. Why does it not let me do it on that? There we go. Flee. Flee. Not again. Thank God for that. Ooh. Okay, turn four. 
shooting again. She's such a dick. Such a dick move. Devotion on this one. Yeah, boy. Okay. Then we can stun you if we can. Wait. That's got a high chance to stun. No, it doesn't because it removes stun. What am I on about? Let's just stun you. To your face. <laughs> to your face. Right. Clown. The clown. Hmm. I wonder if I can get her devotion down again. Yeah, I was going to keep targeting her devotion. Yes. Oh. Move me. So rough. So wild. Shit. That's a big decrease as well. Um, I think I can actually move her now. See ya. Yeah, because last time I left her life, she raged up. I don't know if it's just a uh, thing they do anyway. They just rage up. Rage. Uh, yeah. Okay, the clown. Try and kill it. Oh, spine breaker. Oh my god. He's out of there. He is out of there. Home run, baby. Home run. Another win. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Next. Uh, next again. And over here. Make some more bandages that we're not using. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Can I track that one as well? Oh, yeah, I can track them both. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so. Check out the train again. Maybe I should reset this. See if I get someone else. Eddie? Eddie, you got a cool name. That's so good. I'm starting to get a bit quicker at looking at these now. And seeing what the symbols are. I'm learning. I am learning. What's that? Nah. So, uh, sleeping carts. God, you need to sleep a bit more, don't you? Someone here is very low. Brock. Rocco. Uh, yeah, I might as well leave you there. I need more food. I'm really running out of food. Kind of scary. So we can use one of these two again. I'm gonna go for the London City Circus. Let's put in a green. Put in a... Ooh. Grok's really close to leveling. I kinda of wanna keep him out. But his devotion's 35, but Pablo's is 44. Oh, I'll take Pablo, fuck it. I see that Grok. Oh, you're pink as well. You can't even go there, I thought you are blue. Damn it. Um. I need an orange as well. This is not cool. I'll put your one in there. And then let's put Willie in this one, I guess. Or Pablo. 46. 44. Yeah, it's, oh, so annoying. So very annoying. I can't put Grok in there. You're quite low in devotion. Tanja. You kind of with me, though. Yeah, it means I lose all of my uh, escape artists. See you later, Winnie. Have fun. Next. And then bump this up. This is XP, isn't it? Yeah. What's this one again? Gold. Put up a one, put XP up a two. I can't put anything in the middle. I announce. Damn right it is, once again. Okay, so after putting on the world's greatest show for the world to see, I'm going to end part three there. Like, subscribe, and let's see if we can take down the boss in part four. Take care.